one of my guests tonight is starring in a big new romantic movie. So to get us in the mood, I've got all the ingredients for romance. Music. Oh, flowers. Oh, and a little glass of wine. <laughs> We have all singing, all dancing, all gorgeous. Zac Efron is here! Yeah. Star of Friends and Episodes, Matt LeBlanc is on the show! I know! And brilliantly funny, not going out star, Lee Mack is here! I know! And plus, we've got music from the fabulous Marina and the Diamonds! For the American guests, ladies and gentlemen, what an exciting time to be in the country. Hey, 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 yeah, exactly three months from today, it's the start of the Olympics. Oh, oh, lot to live up to, isn't there? Because, you know, the Beijing Olympics had an opening ceremony that featured traditional Chinese music, dancing with thousands of synchronised performers, moving as one. It was excellent, excellent. Uh, we've got a similar thing planned. <laughs> in the stadium. That's my feeling about it. Uh, a lot to look forward to over the next few months. The famous torch is going to be carried to the Olympic Stadium. Oh, that's the torch. It'll be passed all around the country till it finally passes through Hackney. The great thing is, though, it's got everyone in Britain fitness crazy, hasn't it? <laughs> Uh, there are some Brits heading off to try out the new running track. And uh, here's the new running track after they finished. <laughs> Let's get some guests on! <laughs> Later, we'll be having music from Marina and the Diamonds. But first, the water the Big Mac, here he is, it's Mr. Lee Mac! <laughs> woo! Woo! Hey! Okay, you better start, sir. Look at him in room. Just sit yourself down. Lee Mac! Do you two know each other at all? Have you met before? Yes. Yeah, just about a couple minutes ago. Yeah. Oh, they're not before this. <laughs> oh, charm, isn't it? Oh, right, OK. Because yes. <laughs> Lee, uh, Lee down the end, he's... Did you just say Lee down the end? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's where you are. <laughs> can you hear him? You can hear him, right? Yeah, I can hear him. I can hear him. It's like a sort of raffle. <laughs> My, my purpose on the sofa tonight. It's like the three ages of showbiz, isn't it? <laughs> it starts off like that, then it gets a bit like that, and then you're, you're haggard like this. <laughs> so, so Get yourself I, over here. I have actually. I've I've met. Uh, well, I haven't met, but I sort of met you before. Well, not really met. I was. Uh, <laughs> Well, I was in America about five years ago, and oh, I, was, that's right, I was so excited. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, you too. And, <laughs> yeah. and I was in a in a studio uh, sort of car park about to have this meeting, and I was very excited because I hadn't been to the states before. And, and and you went past on like a golf buggy at this studio, which I presume you were making a show, or it was a very bad golf shot. <laughs> <laughs> you went past, <laughs> and I thought, well, you're you know, you're on telly, I'm on telly, I'll wave. And I went, hey, uh, nothing. <laughs> Well, what do you expect? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> after tonight, beat me down. After tonight, 
<laughs> and, and Zach, I like the ways your friends use your fame as kind of a, like a joke, uh, like, like a game. Uh, yeah. Oh, gosh, yes, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. Uh, we have, yeah, we have a lot of fun. My friends mess, mess with it a lot. But we can't take it too seriously. I mean, I'm just the same dude that they always knew that I grew up yeah, with. Yeah. So uh, we drive around, and if I'm riding shotgun, uh, if we pull up next to a bunch of girls in a car, they always roll down the window and turn on a high school musical track at a red light. <laughs> <laughs> And, and we just, I just stare forward like nothing's going on, but we see how long it takes them to notice. Because <laughs> some of them know the song and go, ha, <laughs> great song. <laughs> <laughs> and then my friends start going, yeah, it's him, it's him. And they look at me and I go, no, it's not. And it's not they go, is it really? And I go, no, no, it is! <laughs> It's, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. When do you guys do that? Can I get in on that? If we combine forces... If we combine forces... <laughs> Don't touch me, Zach Efron. I don't want to come in your crappy little car. Play your music and have people screaming at me, thank you. <laughs> Having said that, um, I am free on Sunday and Monday. Okay. <laughs> You know what happened to me? This has happened a long time ago. I was in the one, on 101 heading to work one morning when we were still shooting friends, and it was like gridlock traffic. <laughs> Nobody's going anywhere. Yeah. And I look at, out the window, and there's a girl in the car next to me, and she's just rocking out to some song, and it was when the Friends theme song was, like, <laughs> number one on the radio or whatever. And I put the window down and hear what she's listening to, and I realize what she's listening to, and she looks over at me and sees me, freaks out, <laughs> takes her foot off the brake and slams into the car. <laughs> And I can't go anywhere, so I just put the window. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like stuck in my ass. And, but anyone else drinking? Anyone else? Uh... No, I had a story. I said. How do you drink out of that? <laughs> wow. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. The wine? You spoke? I don't know. <laughs> Listen, uh, the lucky one, you've just come from the premiere. I did. Uh, how was it? It was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. Everybody, it, it's amazing, man. You guys have the best... I have the best fans out here. They're so supportive. Thank you so much, guys. The premiere was great. So, it's based on uh, a book by Nicholas Sparks, and, of course, he wrote The Notebook and Dear John. He's become king of these big romantic novels. Yeah. So, what's the, uh, the premise behind this one? I play uh, Marine Logan Thibault. Uh, who is in his third tour in Iraq, and he finds this photograph out in the sand, and uh, when he goes over to retrieve it, an IED goes off just where he was standing the moment before. So, it, undoubtedly, the picture, finding of the picture, saved his life. Um, and when he gets home, sort of a Marine searching for a purpose back in, in, uh, in you know, society again, he decides that maybe the reason he's here is, is because of this girl. So he goes on uh, a mission to find her and to, to somehow thank her. And uh, that's how they meet, and a love story ensues. It really is a lovely film. And it, it is a proper sort of romance. If it, you know, if you've seen proper The Notebook romance, or Dijon, yeah. you know, it, it, Nicholas, he doesn't shy away from the romance. <laughs> and in terms of being an actor, are those really difficult, those scenes, when you're, you know, expressing your love in, you know, quite dramatic ways? Uh, when you, when you read them on paper for the first time, you always kind of go, oh, I'm going to have to say that. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? I've said way worse things in the moment, and I think they worked. <laughs> um, you know, and, and, it, and it really does work. You're watching.